Shalom, giving all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Bahashim Rachakodash, the Bu'anas, and to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to you, Akim, upholding the testimony of Yahweh Shai in truth and sincerity. In Zephaniah, the second chapter, first verse, gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together, O nation not desired. And that nation not desired is the nation of Yasharala. Okay? The nation of Yasharala. Right? Which the Bible is concerning and pertaining unto. Right? The nation of Israel. Now, we're not talking about those Amalekites in the land right now. We're talking about the ethnic Israelites that are scattered throughout the four corners. It's telling us to gather ourselves together. Now, does that mean we are supposed to physically go into a location and gather together? No, it does not mean that. That the gathering is spiritual. So we're supposed to gather together around the doctrine, the testimony of Yahweh Shai. That's what makes us the church. When you the, the Greek fashion of it is um, Ecclesiastes or Ecclesiasticus, which is the preacher, but Ecclesiastes, which means church. But when you go into the Hebrew, all right, which the Greek is it's inspired when you now i'll say this when you go into the hebrews such as the old testament let's talk moses let's talk mosaic let's talk dawada or dawada you know hey shout out to my brother in the dc area the beloved dawada you know point being which that means david shalom giving all praises honor glory and worship to you by shimei al-shai by hashem rakakodash double honors unto the elders and the apostles of great millstone and salutations to you, I came upon the testimony of our Lord and Savior, how is shot in truth and sincerity. Zephaniah, the second chapter, first verse, gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together, O nation not desired. What nation? Who is that? It's talking about Yasharala. That's the Hebrew way of saying Israel. All right, it, what you would consider the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Um, but be not deceived and be not mistaken. The, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And the gathering in all actuality isn't necessarily the persona uh, just because of the blood, but more so based upon the spirit. What does that mean? We're not gathering physically. Do we go to camp? Yes. Do we have the Passover and do we gather together in those regards and things of that nature? Yes. But the gathering is, the, is through the spirit. The, the quickening and the gathering is, is not based upon the flesh, but rather the spirit. And so when we gather, our gathering is based upon doctrine. Our gathering is based upon uh, the testimony of Yahweh Shai. And so, you know, you have great millstone members in Nigeria. You have them in Suriname. You have them in Holland. Shout out to the beloved Akim out there. But we don't get together and commune. I mean, sometimes brothers might travel. I get it. But the point being, but we're still together based upon us being unified in the doctrine, in the Holy Spirit. All right? Do unified in the Holy Spirit. All right, so the gathering is spiritual. You go into the Greek way of it, it's Ecclesiastes, but let's talk Hebrew. Let's talk Ibaria. The Hebrew is Kwara, or as some would pronounce Kwara, right? Which we're talking what? We're talking church. That's how you say church. Well, Ecclesiastes in the Greek now, church is more so, that's a new word. You know, that's a new word. But the word church, right, which is synonymous with the Greek word Ecclesiastes, now, the word church, in all actuality, it means assembly. To assemble, assembly. That's what the church is. So when you talk, when, when you hear about the church of God, that's talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. What did you think it was talking about? See? That's the church of God. Did not Aaron and his sons wear the onyx stone shoulder on shoulder, one with six tribes, the other with the other six of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel? And it was meant to be a memorial and a thing that was without end. 
That's the church. That the, the establishment of the temple, the establishment of the tabernacle during the time of Moses. He he told him to put an onyx stone on the right shoulder and the left shoulder, and he and they engraved the they engraved the twelve tribes of of the of the sons of Jacob on both shoulders on both onyx stones. What did you think that was? You thought that was yeah, it was symbolism, but it was. Eh. And, and at the end, it shall speak and not lie. See, though Terry, though it Terry, wait for it. And the shoulders represent, you see, I'm in the spirit right now. See, the shoulders represent the burden. The burden of who? The burden of Mashiach. He took the cross. And so, yeah, I know it was Aaron and his son, but wait a minute. He, 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 Moses didn't speak about Yahweh of priesthood, or, or may I say the tribe of Judah of priesthood. That's because Yahweh is a priest after the order of Melchizedek. That's because he fulfilled the law. He didn't have to be a Levitical priest. He, he, he put the 12 tribes on his shoulders himself. He did that. And so when, it, when, it, when, when Moses was commanded to have that done for the sons of Aaron, it said that the onyx stones would go on the shoulders of, of the sons of Aaron, which were the high priests. The shoulders represents that which bears burden. And the onyx stone, which in the Hebrew, I believe is Shaham, which is, is, it represents purity and purification. And it was meant to be a memorial unto all generations. It still stands. How does it stand? Where's the priesthood of, of Aaron? Where are the sacrifices? Well, it stands through Yahweh Shai. Verse 1, gather yourselves together, yet gather together, O nation not desire. Who is that? Everybody hates us. Everybody looks at us like we pieces of shit, but they don't even realize they're going into slavery. That's too bad, too sad. You should have never put us in cargo slave ships. You should have never crucified our Lord. You should have never slayed the apostles. You should have never, you should have never touched the apple of his eye. Which the, that's the children of Israel, the Banya Yasharala. We are the apple of the Heavenly Father's eye. We are the fruit of his ion. Yeah, and we're not desired because of the curses, because uh, every, every nation oppresses and persecutes us. We're not desired because we're the rightful heirs. We're not, we're not desired and we're hated and we're detested and we're whore because they know that we're up next. And then maybe not intellectually, they may not understand that intellectually, but in their spirit, deep down in their spirit, they fully comprehend and understand that. It says, it says, before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the shaft, but for the, before <clears throat> the fierce anger of Yahweh come upon you. Before the day of Yahweh's anger come upon you. Seek ye Yahweh, all ye meek of the earth. Well, Yahweh Shah told him, he said, the meek shall inherit the earth. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. He said that. And that proves that he comes in the volume of the book. It's written of him. It says, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness. Is it not after the order of Melchizedek? Malak Tazadak, which is king of righteousness. That's, I told you he came in the volume of the book. Didn't I say he came in the volume of the book? It's written of him. So when it says seek righteousness, it's saying seek Yahweh Shai. It's saying seek Melchizedek. He's the king of righteousness. What do you mean? 
seek meekness, seek humility. And is he not Adam? Look, let's stop. Brothers know. He's like, what do you mean? After you talking about humble, well, yeah, Adam. Brothers know what Adam mean. They know why it makes sense for that to for me to say that. They know to mean the words. Brothers are just diligent. Brothers be on it like that. Seek meekness, and maybe ye shall be hid in the day of Yahweh's anger. Now, how is that going to be done? The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. Yep, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. It said you should be hid. Let's get that. Oh, bam. Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, which is his protection. The secret place is his name. Well, David said, he said, what is his name and what is his son's name if thou can tell? That's if you fast enough or if that's it. See, if you need to catch up, you need to catch up. But we... We don't need to catch up because the Lord quickened us. Only thing about the flesh, it don't profit nothing. That's why these guys, they don't understand that the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. They can't get it because they're too fucking, they're too fucking, they're too fucking, they're too fucking high off the flesh. High off the flesh. Covering the fat. Wait a minute, the fat's supposed to be the Lord's. Script said, make a covenant through, with Yahweh by Shem Yahshua by sacrifice. And when I say covenant the fat, when you go into that word fat, all right, from a Hebraic perspective, or you just, uh, yeah, I'll say when you go into that word fat, it means abundance. It means robust. The the elect are, are likened into the fat of the sacrifice of Yahweh by Shem Yahshua. You know, that's what the word, it, it coincides to the word oil, fatness, you know. It's, it's a just run wax fat, meaning that we were living good. You know, Yashawan, you know, talking about what Jeshurun means Israel. That's, a, that's another way of saying Yasharala. That's a, one of our names. So when, it's, when I say they, they're covered in the fat, they're covered in... They're covered in that which is supposed to be a sacrifice. What? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Go read the Levitical law. It tells you that the, the fat is the Lord's. What does that mean? The fat is the Lord's. Meaning he, he, the first fruits goes to him. That's what it means. You don't eat the fat. You burn it. It smells good. It's a sweet savior unto Yahweh by Shimei and Shai. So the best of what you have. See, we don't do that no more. We don't know I'm going to take the fat. I'm going I'm to take the kidney. I'm going to move the, the, the fat from the inwards. From the No, we're not doing that. But what we are doing, we're making the covenant with Yahweh Bashim Yahshua through sacrifice. We are the fat and we're laying ourselves on the line and on the cross. Verse 3, seek ye Yahweh, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may, then, did Yahweh shall not say the meek shall inherit the earth? Who you think he is? Who you, he gonna inherit the earth. Why? Because he's the meek. Bam, showing you that he come in the volume of the book. It says, it may be that ye may be hid in the day of Yahweh's anger. Bam, now we on to you, you Ishmaelites over there in the land. We about to get on you. All this goddamn talk about, uh, uh, what these guys talking about? Um, ceasefire. Them small hats ain't gonna do no goddamn ceasefire. They gonna keep bumming y'all niggas in the smithereen. Why? Because biblical prophecy says they would. Right here, verse four. For Gaza, for Gaza shall be forsaken. The Lord forsook that place, man. 
he forsook that place and Ashkelon a desolation they shall drive out Ashdod at the noonday which that's right now the noonday is this chief time of prophecy it says and Ekron shall be rooted up and all this is talking about the quote unquote Philistines but in modern day it's talking about the Palestinians it's talking about them heathens over there in, in our land it says the word of Yahweh is against you. Ooh, oh, goodness sake. Par pardon me, I read too fast. Verse 5, it says, Woe unto the inhabitants of the seacoast. Who is in the seacoast? You damn heathens. You heathens that are in our landmass. And I'm going to show you that this is this is prophecy. Uh, just, let, just allow me to continue to read. I'm going to show you this is a walking book. This book is, is talking about what's taking place right now. I'll show you. We're going to keep reading. It says, woe unto the inhabitants of the seacoast. That's why they getting bumped into fucking, um, <laughs> they, they bumming them niggas worse than Dresden. It says, it says the nation of the Carathites, which those were proto -phil um, Philistines. Those, the Carathites, that's talking about the Philistines. That's a sect of Philistines. But it's talking about now it's talking about the land, which uh, those people who living in our land, which are the Palestinians. All right. It says, woe unto the inhabitants of the seacoast of the Carathites. The word of Yahweh is against you, O Canaan, the land of the Philistines. So it's talking about all that land, that whole land. All right. It says, I will even destroy thee that there should be no inhabitant. See, you guys are, are, the Lord's doing this, man. Verse 6, and the sea shall be dwelling, ooh, it says, it says, and the sea coast shall be dwellings and cottages for shepherds and foes for flocks. That's not what it is right now. Gaza is fucking being bummed. Where the fuck are the, where's the flock? Where are the sheep? <laughs> they, they dying, they damn near dying of famine. So showing you that that prophecy hadn't been fulfilled. That's talking about when we when we are returned to the land, that landmass over there, Gaza is going to be um, is going to be where we have. Yeah, and that landmass, the sea coast is going to be where we have different uh, flocks of our animals. All right. OK, the, because Jerusalem, which above, which is above, is free. All right. Right now, Jerusalem needs to be liberated. We have to liberate Jerusalem through the spirit because currently the devil is is in, in power. And what do you mean the devil? Well, I don't believe in Greek mythology like you. I believe what devil mean according to what that word mean, which in the Greek is Diabolos. And I don't got nothing to do with no nigga with a pitchfork. Y'all niggas are bugging. No, no, you guys are bugging out. We don't believe in Greek mythology. That's you. And you don't know what the word devil means, but you're trying to come up against us. The devil is the nigga who's over in the goddamn Holy Land right now. Bumming the hell out of everybody. That's the, that's the devil. The self-proclaimed... <laughs> the self-proclaimed... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Of it, the Edomites. I would just say it like that. That's the Edomites over there in the land. It says, verse 7, it says, And the coast shall be for the remnant of the house of Judah, which are the elect. The remnant is talking about the elect. So that's what the coast is for. Right now, who's in the, who's in the sea coast right now? The goddamn heathens. Gaza is controlled by the heathens. Hamas are heathens. Those are um, Ishmaelites. Sons of Yashima, Yashima That Those are not Judites. And them, <laughs> and them tiny hats definitely ain't no Judites. They, those are Amalekites. Itty bitty hats. Those are Amalekites. All right. So it says, they shall feed thereupon in the houses of Ashkelon. Shall they lie down in the evening? For Yahweh their God shall visit them and turn away their captivity. Right, the Lord is going to take us out of slavery. Right now we're in slavery, man. 
under the heathen. The heathen have us in slavery. They're persecuting us. They're oppressing us. They're defiling us. They're hurting and harming us and killing us, man. They keep fucking killing us. They keep hurting us. They keep... And you see, a nuclear missile is going to be the equalizer for you niggas. It's all fun and games to the Heavenly Father send hypersonic missiles to, into your city. And your little bunker turned into your goddamn fish fry. I'm sick of this goddamn shit. You he just gonna fucking understand it. Yahweh Shimmy Asha not nothing to play with. Goddamn heathens. Verse 8, it says, I have heard the reproach of Moab. The Lord hear your fucking proud ass mouth, you goddamn Chinese. You stupid ass Indonesians. Oppressing our people. We see what you're doing over there to our people. We, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you not off the hook. We get on Esau, but we see what you're doing, Moab. You goddamn Chinese bastards. It says, in the reviling of the children of Ammon. We also see what you Japanese are doing. You, we see how you oppress and persecute our people. How you, you've held hand in hand with the so-called white man to persecute and, and hold us down and oppress us. We see you. And guess who else see you? God. Yahweh Bashim Al Shah sees you. It says, where, it says, whereby they have reproached my people and magnified themselves against their border. That's what they did. That's exactly what they did. They, they've cut, they cut out the land of the Israelites, all right? In which this was done in the ancient world too, you know? They, they, they chewed up at our land. And guess what they did in America? You got all type of Chinese business owners owning land in America. This is Gadite and, Ruba, and Rubenite territory, young man. Fuck is wrong with you? All of, uh, uh, throughout, the, throughout the Americas is Northern Kingdom territory. <sighs> Therefore, as I live, saith Yahweh of hosts, which means Lord of armies, the God of Israel, that's who he is. He's the God of Yasharallah. He's the God of Yasharallah. It says, surely Moab shall be as Sodom. What does that mean? Meaning y'all going to get hit with nuclear missiles. It says, and the children of Ammon as Gomorrah. And you damn Japanese, you already know what's up. Esau already hit you with the atomic bomb, had you looking stupid. You about to get hit with hypersonics as well. It says, e it says even the breeding... Of need of nettle, even the breeding, breeding of nettles, and salt pits, and a perpetual desolation. Right, but you gonna get hit with missiles. It says the residue of my people shall spoil them. Right, the elect, the elect, the initiated, the chosen of the Israelites. We're gonna spoil you. Yes, we gonna all that gold that you niggas got in China. We gonna get your gold, nigga. Fuck you, you piece of shit. I'm sick of this shit, man. You got them Chinese proud as hell, man. I thought you niggas was the Middle Kingdom. You don't even believe in God, you goddamn communist bastards. And fuck you and your goddamn drone strike and all your fucking bullshit ass mercenaries. Fuck you, goddamn Moabites, man. Nobody's scared of you, goddamn Moabites. Some bullshit, man. Proud ass Moabites fucking us up, man. Killing our people. You know? Straight up and down. You understand? And so that's why it's, it's, it's just balance. They talk about, you know, yin and yang, right? It's, it's, it's all it is is balance. You know, what 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 has been done is now, now it's, been, it's, it's about to have to be done unto you. Because the Lord seeing all the stuff that you've been doing, man, he sees it. It's not, he's, it's not, a, it, it, he's not blind to it. It says, the residue of my people shall spoil them. Let's get that word, spoil. Let's get that word, spoil. Right? Bazaz, which the context is, yeah, Bazaz. Yah, oh no, um, what's that? Yah Bazawam, Yah Bazawam, and the root word is Bazaz, which is to spoil, plunder, prey upon, seize, 
plunder, to take as spoil. So that's what's gonna happen to you, you assholes. You're not gonna keep mocking us and making fun of us, you piece of shit. Damn, man. You get tired of being persecuted and oppressed, man. You really do. We tired of being on the bottom. We tired of these heathens looking at us like we some fucking pieces of shit slaves. It says, and the remnant of my people shall possess them. Right, because you Moabites are going into slavery. You Chinese, Japanese, y'all going into slavery. It says, this shall they have for their pride, because they have reproached and magnified themselves against the people of Yahweh of hosts. You should never did what you did to us. Now it's a wrap. Now it's over for you. Verse 11, it says, Yahweh, and we're going to get spiritual powers. Fuck you and your little bullshit ass guns. Fuck you. Tell you that now, Jack. You're not nice. You really ain't as nice as what you think you are. You understand what I'm saying? You are not as nice as what you. Well, how nice are you when the Lord starts sending killer wasps and killer bees at you when you try to come on the offenses uh, on the offensive against us? How you gonna How you gonna execute your offensive when you get when you getting ate up by by vultures? And the Lord start turning the beast of the field against you. You better ask them goddamn Canaanites who will stand on that wall trying to defend their city when the Lord sent them wasps for their ass. The Lord sent wasps, wasps on the damn Canaanites, man. And stung them up before we came in. They couldn't even fight against us. They were stung up so bad. You, you, you heathens are going to understand that the God of the Red Sea is real. That's the stories that you read about when you was in school. Oh, yeah, the, God, the Bible talk about the Red Sea, split the Red Sea, drown Pharaoh. Nigga, that's going to happen to you. Over here banning the Bible, talking about the Bible not real. All right, well, it's going to be real. We're going to see. We'll see. Oh, yeah, we definitely going to see because the Bible condemns you, you goddamn heathens. It says, This shall they have for their pride because they have reproached and magnified themselves against the people of Yahweh Matazabawath. It says, Yahweh will be terrible unto them. For he will famish all the gods of the earth, which is talking about your kings. It says, and man shall worship him. They're not going to worship the damn, um, these damn North Korean Kim Jong-un and, um, what is it, Xi and all these other leaders, Trump. They're not going to worship, people are not going to worship them in the kingdom. They're not, they're not going to be worshipped anymore. Putin, they're not, he's not going to get worshipped anymore. The God of heaven and earth is going to be worshipped. You'll see. You'll see. And our, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're spiritual. What you, don't, what you fail to realize, you're going to have to fight against God when you fight against us. I don't think you're prepared. You're going to have to fight against God when you fight against us. I don't think you're prepared. It says Yahweh will be terrible unto them. It didn't say man. It didn't say we were. It said Yahweh will be terrible unto you. It says, for he will famish all the gods of the earth, and man shall worship him, every one from his place. Right. Different people in different parts of the earth, they're going to worship Yahweh when the kingdom is established. It says, even all the isles of the heathen, all the, all the different Hamites and Japhites, all in these different islands and these different other nations, these different other heathens, all throughout, you know, in Asia and all of that, man. Different, these different islands and isles, which all of these people are, are going to have to submit to the Heavenly Father when, when Yahweh shall return. They're not going to keep being able to be stupid pieces of shit eating rat and dog anymore. Your days for eating rat and dog are numbered. <sighs> Verse 12. Ye Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by my sword. And he will stretch out his hand against the north and destroy Assyria. 
and will make Nineveh a desolation and dry like a wilderness. Well, that's talking about America. It says, and flock shall lie down in the midst of her and all the beasts of the nations, both the cormorant. Let's go to that word so you can understand what this is. Let's see where we at. See, look. It's unclean bird. That's because um, what it's in the Hebrew is quath, which these this is talking about um, after the thermonuclear missiles hit America. Only like desert type creatures are going to live here. You know, other other creatures, when it says flocks, it's talking about like flocks of, of unclean birds and, and snakes and different desert animals. Because nobody's going to live in this land anymore because it's too many too many nuclear warheads are going to hit this place. It's not going to be able to be lived in it anymore. The Chinese, the Japanese, the Russians, the um, East Indians, the Iranians, all of them, they're going to shoot their missiles on this place. The, the French, the, the British, they're going to shoot missiles on America. That's why people are not going to be able to live anymore. That's why the scripture says, um, all the beasts of the nations, both the um, cormorant and the bittern, shall lodge in the upper lintels of it. Which the, Let me see. Let's keep reading. It says, their voice shall sing in the windows. Desolation shall be in the thresholds, for he shall uncover the cedar work. Right. Because the Lord, the Lord Yahweh Shai, He's gonna He's gonna destroy this place with missiles. It says, "This is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly." That's America dwelt carelessly. Don't give a fuck about nothing. Open borders, stupid, retarded, nasty, so sodomites, weird, illogical, abstainers from reason, void of judgment, degenerates. This is America. This is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly, that said in her heart, I am, and there is none beside me. That's what they think. They, they proud like that. That's what Amer these Americans are proud. The American, uh, America's proud. They don't think anybody going to take them down until China starts shooting that goddamn east wind over here. Until, Ru until the Russians drop the Tsar bomber over here. It's all fucking funny games until they got them shooting missiles. These all you these are all fucking smiles and, 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 and giggles until missiles get goddamn shot this way. Until the Iranians shoot, and Ayatollah tell them, yeah, let it go. And they shoot them goddamn missiles from Persia over here. It's all fun and games until that go until that happens. It says, This is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly. That said in her heart, I am and there is none beside me. How will she become a desolation, a place for beasts to lie down, a place for beasts to lie down in? Everyone that passeth by her shall hiss and wag his hand. Like anybody that sees, like if, say for instance, a, a boat come, goes by America and, and near America, they're like, wow, this, this place is it's, it's, it's hideous. It's terrible. It's a desert, desolate. And it's, going to, and it's just going to be a, a memorial of what not to do and what not to be forever. And America will always be that, that chief example of what not to be on the planet Earth forever and always. And so with that, we're going to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bahashim Rukhakotash. All right. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, and this is the testimony. This is the testimony that got the apostles and the the different prophets killed, man. It's a hard testimony. This is not, you know, it's like for us to say these words, it's like, damn, y'all going to say these words? Yeah, we're going to say these words because God told us. Yahweh Bashimah told us to. You better, don't worry about it. First of all, you, you heathens don't need to be worried about us. You need to be worried about your maker who's about to come and show you who's the real. He's going to show you who, who's the real sheriff. You're going to have to deal with the king of Jehoshaphat. So with that, Shalom.